Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. So today we are going to go through a game and eventually I would love it as a podcast where I could bring people on for a game with them and just, just chat. I love that idea. Okay, so I kind of got it set up just so so to save us some time as you're not watching me and boring, being bored and whatever. So if you've ever heard of Cluedo, it's called Suspects, or Cluedo Suspects, it's um, solve the crime in the quickest time. It's a family game, ages 8 plus, 15, 15 minutes, and 3 to 4 players. I uh, guessing that's a 15, maybe like a 15 minute setup. So you have setting up. So what I had to do, as you can see, I'll show you the setup. So I was reading the top here. And you gotta take out those the pluses on them because those are the advanced ones for um like two to four player games and it's only for the two to four players and then setup number two is you have your um cards here you have your um you have your symbols of suspects weapons and locations so here, okay. So I want to make sure they have six suspects, three weapons, and three locations. So each player gets 12. And goes how many players? Three to four players, because you can only do so many, right? Everyone starts with the same case file, card items, put aside any spare sets. Okay, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually divide these into this um into the same category like location suspects or weapons and then we'll pick I'll pick from there so it's still not looking at my cards beforehand because it yeah because I'm not cheating we don't like cheating right even though I'm not really playing I'm just showing you and walking you through the game and eventually, I will have people on here with me to play the games, the games, and it will be fun. Okay. And if anyone knows how to get people onto a podcast, please let me know. I love to learn. I love to go down to places to do this, to build my promotions of my podcast and my dreams of podcasting. And stuff like that, just like your guys's, if you like your dreams, whatever they are. Obviously, it's, it's not everyone wanting to be a podcaster, but but you have your dreams for sure, right? Okay, so location, location, a spa sounds like fun. I wish I had a spa in my house. Watch not I wish it will happen. It will happen in <laughs> See just have brain news. This could be a really fun game, I think personally. Um Okay. Um, location, location, location. Just like modern family, when when Phil starts teaching and he had to click that thing, the students like location, location, location. It's all about location. Okay, so we have our suspects here. We have our location here. And then our weapons that we get to have here. So we get, I get to choose six. So I'm going to choose six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then location, to choose one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, and weapon. Two, one, two, and three. Okay. So those are my cards. So I have my 12 that I need. And then separate the orange evidence cards into three piles. Orange evidence cards. Okay. So shuffle into the three piles. Shuffle each pile and keep them face down. So are we doing so? I see. Okay, so location is here. So we have the weapon and the suspect. And we're going to keep them in three separate piles face down. Okay. Without looking, place one card from each pile face down in the middle, cover it with the the crime, this is the crime and state secret until someone makes an accusation. So basically what it shows right here is what so so I'm gonna pick my suspect. You guys can pick the suspect and Okay, we got the suspect card down. I think this one is the location, I'm not 100% sure, it could be the weapon too, okay, um, let's see, I'm going to pick this one, and then I'm going to go here and pick this, okay, so now we have our three, um, ones, and then this here, the True crime goes on top of the pile like this, and you can have and um yeah, and so that's how you start. And then the evidence shuffle the rest of the evidence cards and deal them out face down so everyone has an equal number. Spare cards go face up in the middle for all to see. Look at your own case file cards and evidence. Any evidence cards you can see are are innocent. They can't be underneath the crime card. Secretly put any case file cards that match the evidence card. You can see face down in a pile. This is your innocent pile. Keep your evidence cards in hand at all times. So everyone gets an evidence card. So I'm going to pretend there's, there's a bunch of others. But I'm going to take one to wait oh i guess you just put it all together here own file cards and evidence cards okay wait shuffle the rest of the evidence cards together and deal them face down to everyone as equal number spare cards go face up in the middle for all see so i'm going to say because i'm by myself i'm just going to take one as evidence and this is my innocent pile okay and the rest go face up since we don't have them, or since since these are the ones that are the innocent, and this is my innocent, so the suspect that's innocent is Plum. We have, the knife is the innocent weapon, so if there's spare cards, because you don't have enough players or whatever, you got to hand them out equally until there's not until there's one or two that you can't hand out. You gotta put them face up knowing that those are the innocent piles. So of course, I feel like, because there's just me, I feel like if I give it away. So I'm just gonna place the knife and one more. It'll just be too easy for me just because it is just the one. Okay, two more. Because I chose, I did that by accident. So two suspects, Peacock and Green are innocent. And I'm going to keep those face up. Okay, and then the rest of here is the evidence. Okay, so that's... Okay. 
Now, how to play. Look at your cards. Oh, and then there's these, these remembering cards that will give you kind of, that will guide you throughout the game. Player asking, looking at your, look at your cards, ask the player to your left about any two items you think you might have involved in the card. You can ask about different item types like scarlet and the rope or the same type of the rope or the candlestick. See example. Okay. Player answering. When a player asks you a question, check the orange evidence cards in your hand. You have one of the evidence cards they asked about. Show it to, to the asker and no one else. Be honest. If you lie, the game won't work. Do you both have... So you can't lie in this game. Do you both have both the evidence cards they ask about? Choose only one of these cards to show the asker without revealing that you have both. Do you have both of these evidence cards they asked about? They asked about. Choose only one of these cards to show the asker. Player asking if the first player on your left can help, can't help you. Ask the next player the same question. Keep asking until someone shows you an evidence card or until you've asked everyone. Okay. If nobody has any of the evidence cards you asked about, you know that one or both of those pieces of evidence is under the crime card. So tips and Tactics for details. Keep playing like this until you think you figured out who did it, with what, and where, and where did you accuse. See how to accuse. Pay attention, and even when it's not your turn, you can learn vital clues. So, how to accuse. On your next turn, say you want to accuse and lay the three card file cards you think were involved face down on a table. Separate your innocent pile, who, what, where, ask if anyone else wants to accuse, is it only you accusing? Peek at the cards under the crime card, don't show anyone else. If the three cards under the crime card match your ac accusation, you win. Turn over the crime card and your case file cards to prove it. Uh, wait. If the three cards under the card match your your accusation, you win. T turn over the crime card and your case file cards to prove it, if you if your cards don't match, you lose. Other player players keep play oh if you're if you know, I think if you guess or whatever. If your cards don't match, you lose. Other players keep playing. You can no longer ask questions or accuse, but you must truthfully answer questions when asked. So if you lose, you're out basically. Um more than one person accusing, everyone must do the same. Decide who is first, second, third. Or last to accuse. All players put their three accusation file case cards face down. Everyone ready? Turn your accusation face up at the same time. Accuser number one, turn over the cards and the crime card. Wait, what? Turn over the cards under the crime card. If they match your accusation, you win. Accuser number one didn't win the next player in order who is second, third, or last. But the matching accusation wins. If nobody wins, the criminal has outwitted you all. And go back to detective school. <laughs> Advanced game for top detectives. Two to four players think you are ready for a bigger case. And the plus cards now there will be. So this is if you want to do the advanced version with the plus ones on there. Um, they were. In, I had to separate them. But they look like this at the top corner there, right here. Just the plus cards. So, think you're ready for a bigger case. Add in the plus cards now. There will be one extra warp, warpin, I think weapon. That's a typo. Or maybe there's a warp on. And two, oh, maybe warp on, I don't know. And two extra locations to ask questions about. Setup is the same as before, except, yeah, there's a typo here. Before is B-E-F-O-E-R. <laughs> before, except. Each player now gets a set of 15 case file cards, six suspects, five locations, four weapons. Okay, so each player gets 15 cards with those added in. There are now three extra orange evidence cards that could be innocent or guilty. Ask questions and accuse as before, except if it's just two of you playing, when one of you accuses, the other player must do the same. That's in the um, advanced version. So... Let's look at my cards. Okay, so I I know I don't have I could do y'all looking at those. So 
These are your remembering cards as well. So ask ask the player on your left about any two items you think were involved in the crime. And then answering if you have an orange evidence card that matches one of the items, show it to the asker. Keep it secret from everyone else. If you have both items, choose one to show. If you neither have, I can't say I can't help you. Eliminating any evidence cards you see not involved in the crime, put the matching case file card on your innocent pile. Okay. So we have those face steps, a knife, the and the three suspects. So we know, I see, so we know green is, so I have green, he's innocent, we know that because we have it in here as the innocent pile. Mustard could be a suspect, could be. Plum is not. I know I'm doing it differently, but I'm just trying to make it like a one way, one person game for for now. Um, white can be, scarlet can be a suspect, green cannot be. Um, and now we don't have anything for location, so anything in location can be, um, or anything for the location can be, what do you call it, um, frig. <laughs> they can be, um, what do you call it? Holy crap. Can be innocent or not. So, as one player, I'm going to look at these evidence that we don't know we have. So, the candlestick is innocent. White is innocent. Scarlet is innocent, and the dining room and the spa are all innocent. So, Scarlet and White are innocent. Now, we have the location is the dining room is innocent, and what else? The knife is innocent. Okay. So now we'll go through and just So you have to have the three cards under the crime match your accusation you win. Turn over the crime cards and if your case files cards um oh if your case file cards Okay, turn over the crime card and your case file cards to prove it if your cards don't match your lose. So I guess you do have to have the guilty card, right? To win, I believe. Is that what it's saying? I think so. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you think. Okay, so mustard could be guilty. The kitchen and the room can be guilty. So let's say that I called saying that was guilty. Um, I'm, say there's a bunch of people around me, I'm the only one who can look at it. And let's see if I'm right. Mustard, yeah. Kitchen, yeah. Rope, yes. Okay. I think that may have been a coincidence, but yes, that was all correct. Um, and I had every single one of them. Okay. Interesting. Not that's always a fun game to play. That was the one time. And maybe I can invite someone onto this podcast. And we can do this over and over again until we are sick of it. I love playing games with people. It's so much fun. Anyway, that's it for me. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Pluto. If you guys would play it, because I know I would play this with, with my boyfriend, some friends, and stuff like that. That would be fun. Um, yeah. What do you guys think of the game? So far, I know it's like I'm going to play it on my own. Um, oh, yeah. And one last thing. I don't know. I think these are just the... These are just the suspects' personalities and who they are as people. It doesn't really say to add it to the game. It says not for play on the corner here, bottom. 
But if you want to read about them, you can. So Master goes to see. Was the guilty one, but he is driven by honor and duty, and this talented, talented sportsman takes charge and gets the job done. He's not the most imaginative, imaginative problem solver, though he prefers brawn over brains. Okay, so that is it for me, guys. Have a lovely rest of your evening. I'm excited to put this out for you guys on Friday, and we will chat soon. Have a lovely evening. Bye now.